Mm. Do you know what's in there? Let's make 2019 the year we take care of our health and the environment. Going meat free from time to time isn't something that's just exclusive for vegans and vegetarians. You could actually do it and just lessen the impact on the earth. Meat Free Mondays has been going on for such a long time already, so why not keep the momentum going? Whether you want to do it once, twice, three times, four times a week, it's really up to you. But we just have to come to the realization that we as humans just need a little bit too much of everything. Natural resources are not indefinite. Now I'm not gonna stand here and be a hypocrite. I eat meat, but I eat it consciously. To help me reduce my intake, I turn to eating more vegetables, and when I look for its flavor and the protein, I turn to meat substitutes. Lots of products have been surfacing, and locally, you've probably seen packs of corn in your supermarkets. I tried it, and I liked it. So corn decided to put me to the test and see if someone who likes meat can be convinced to eat it without knowing it. In comes my brother-in-law, Nico. He loves his steak. Me when I'm, like, I'm on the mood. So I wanted to see if I could make him think that corn was actually meat. But before we start our experiment, what's inside corn? It's a natural nutritious fungus fermented and turned into mycoprotein, which is high in fiber, protein, low in saturated fats, moderate in carbohydrates, and has 0% cholesterol. It doesn't take much land to produce, so it's a great sustainable healthy meat alternative. Nothing to do now, but give it a try. This is day one of the challenge. Um, I'm currently cooking the pasta, as you can see. And then I'm gonna text Nico and tell him it's time for lunch and just ask him for a meeting. For this to work, it's really important to build flavor. And to that, we're gonna go ahead and add already our meatballs. And then the ground. Cooking this for Nico out of the the goodness of my heart, and he's complaining that it's not enough food. I'm for not the complaining. Both of us. I'm saying like if you're gonna do it, do it well. You're a loser. <sighs> no, because that was the starter one. You don't feed me enough. You feed me well, not enough. So the food just arrived from our favorite wrap place. So what I'm gonna do now is just, I'm gonna open this wrapper very carefully and I'm gonna switch the wrap and we have a business meeting with one of our friends and hopefully he won't know. We're making a chicken wrap and this time we are using the chunks from corn. I don't think he'll be able to tell this is not chicken. So we are all done. Um, I used the same tortilla wrapper so that way it doesn't look different from the others. Um, and hopefully he doesn't notice. In the post for the brand? Yeah. So that worked absolutely perfectly. Nico had no idea what he was eating. Um, he was just eating away and he finished it, again, faster than all of us. 
Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try the third one because the third one will be the one that features the product more prominently where you can actually see it, feel it, touch it, smell it. So Nico's leaving today um, for Argentina. He'll be staying there for about a month. Um, so this is my last opportunity to do it. Um, we're supposed to be shooting something else before he leaves. So I'm just letting him know that I had to finish this quick recipe first um, and I'll have him try it and see if he can tell if it's corn finally. It's the last one. We're using the sausage patties. I've tried these previously. They taste so close to the same thing that I thought, why not make this the ballsiest dish that we have? This is the last dish. Moment of truth, I'm about to call him in um, and just keep on rolling this and have him taste the food. The recipe I'm trying. Oh my god. Good, huh? Mm. Mm. I was bullying me, so it's payback time. So I got this soap, this is soap for your clothes. And Next. So we add some olive oil, cheese platter. <laughs> Do you know what's in there? Just remember, you don't mess with the bolsico. Eh? What the is in there? Eh? What is in there? Everyone, tell me what is in there. Ah, did you it, like is it? Is it the horse? Did you like it? Is it the horse or not? It's not horse. Did you like it? No, I don't like it anymore. Did you like it or no? Did I don't like it? it anymore. What is in there? So for the last five days, I've been feeding you corn without you knowing. So each time you ate here during this week and you thought it was meat, it was all corn. Dude, I said it was horse. <laughs> corn is okay. I heard it was horse, bro. So was it good? It was good. <laughs> And you had no idea. No. So the wrap yesterday was corn. Mm. What did I make? The pasta the other day when you were like, why are we eating pasta? That was corn. I thought it was really was horse. Oh, it's really good though. So Nico really had no idea, but all he had to do was look at my shoot board. Corn. Nico meal number three. That was today. Oh, but I thought it was just us having a date. And, like you cooking for me. And you know what's part of the experiment? And you know what? <clears throat> I feel used a little bit. I feel you used me for this because this is without my consent. It worked. Nico's the biggest meat eater in the world and he had no idea and he actually felt full. Yep. Yeah. Actually, yep. Yeah. So, chape. No, how do you say chapeau? Chapeau. Chapeau. So, I'm going to call it and say that that was a fairly successful experiment. We are all still learning, but one thing is for sure start making conscious decisions that may help the environment in the long run. Whether it's meat, energy, water, or plastic, let's temper our consumption behaviors and help Mother Earth out. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video and that little experiment. If you want to see more, please make sure to subscribe and thank you for watching as always.